hello everyone what's up trust you guys are doing good uh, welcome back to the channel and in this video i'll be showing you how to test a resistor using a multimeter and mind you you really gain a lot of value in this video if you are new to this channel do wait to like and subscribe to this channel i drop a full video and electronics that will really help you glow very very well all right thank you let's dive into the video without wasting more time and if you don't know how to use multimeter, drop in the comment section. I don't know how to use multimeter. If I have a good number of requests, I'll definitely make a detailed video where I will explain everything a multimeter can do to you. But for today's video, we'll be looking at how to test the resistor using a multimeter. Mind you, there are two ways we can uh, read the value of a multimeter using uh, of a resistor using multimeter or the color code. Yes, in color code, all of them have color. If you look at it, their color are quite different. You can see this one has red, this one has black, this one has light brown. All of them, they have different color, okay? So we'll just be looking at how to test them today. That is the main thing we want to do. So what I will advise you, switch your multimeter to this downside. Now, this green side, you see this my side, your own may not be actually green. But you see the sign here, which is a resistance sign, ohms. So between this range, is starting here. So look for where you're only starting. I'm only starting from 200 and it end at 2 mega year. So that is 2 million year. So from year to year. So the major thing is we don't know the exact value uh, of the resistor. So we'll be working with it so that we we'll get it. So let's start with the first one we have here. You just watch the multimeter and watch the process. Now we'll be starting with the list because we are not sure of the exact value. So just touch. Mind you, no polarity right here. So touch for the first one, not showing, right? Adjust it to the next one, 20K, 2K. Okay, this is reading. So that means this resistor is 0 0.983. That means 980 something ohms. It's not up to 1K. It's fluctuating, but indirectly, this is 1K resistor. Yeah, it's 1K, it's just fluctuating. Well, it's 1K. Because if I adjust it to 200, it's not reading at within that range there. Let me touch it here. It's not reading there, so go to 2K. So this is a 1K resistor, right? Now it's 1K, approximately it is 1K. Okay, so that is for this one. We've gotten the value for this. Let's check another one. Start from the beginning again. Uh, so we'll start from the beginning right here. Uh, let me on my light, sorry. All right, so since we have that now, if you come here, you touch it, we know, remember we are starting from 200, you click, nothing is showing, adjust it, uh, this is not between the range of 2000, let's see, we have moved to 20k, so you can see this is, uh, this is 9.8k resistor, so approximately 10,000 ohms resistor, you can see a very, very unique one. Then let's look at this one. Uh, we turn it back to that 200 list because we are not so sure of what it is. So touch nothing, adjust. Okay, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Imagine <laughs> this is 90k resistor. Yeah, 90k. It's approximately 90,000. So that is 90,000 homes. You can see within the range of 20k is not written but within the range of 200k so you can see it's up, uh, this is 92.6 it's just around the range of 90 something k all right so let's reverse back test the next one uh for this one no no 20k no 200k yeah this is 90k too so Let's look at the last one we have. Let's return back to 200. It's also unfortunate that we don't have small resistors like 10k, 100k. But let's see. This is. Yeah, this is 9.7. That is approximately 10k resistor. Okay. So whether your resistor is 5,000, is 200, is whatever the value it may be, you can really get that from here. And also, in case you want me to teach you the method of the code method, no problem, just drop it in the comment section. I would definitely attend to it. 
If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do that. It's encouraged me to do more and so that do more video for you guys to really learn. All right, do where to like this video so that more people will definitely see it. Because if when you like this video, yeah, the algorithm would tend to promote it to more people. And you know, we want people to learn that's the essence of the interview. Do this video, all right? Once again, thank you. See you guys in the next video.